If you want to have a full access to your Synology NAS remotely, well, there is a very easy solution to do it. First, you will need to use Google Chrome and visit the IP address of your NAS. If you don't know what it is, I can show you how to find it with a free application, which is called Fing, and I explain you how to use it into the video on the upper right corner. Now that I know that my IP address is 192.168.1.193, that 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 well, I visit that web page and I fall on that page. You may need to enter your credential before you arrive on that page. And then what you will do is go into the control panel and into the Quick Connect tab. From here, you will need to enable that Quick Connect and create yourself a Quick Connect ID. I will not show you how to do it, it's very easy, you, you can't be lost by doing this. And then you will have access to your Quick Connect web page that you can access anywhere in the world. So just remember that address and well, when you click on it, wherever you are, if you have an internet connection, you fell on that same page. So from here. Uh, you have access to the same control panel and you also have access to file station. And what is file station? Bas basically, it's everything that is inside your NAS. So actually, there is two hard drive inside my NAS. They are just right here. And I can see everything that is inside. So if I come here and I double click on that picture, well, I can see the picture. This is Pookie. Yeah. Or you can download the picture. Or you can take any file and drop it inside. You just drag and drop. So you have full access from a web page. Now, if this is not exactly what you wanted to do, well, there is three other solution and I made a video for all of them. If you want to share a folder or an image to someone without giving full access to all of your hard drives, well, you can see the video on the upper right corner. If you want to create a folder to somebody to drop a file inside it, so if you want to receive a file, you can see the video on the upper right corner. And if you want to have the same kind of access inside Finder or inside Windows, I find a solution to make it with a VPN Kinda easy to program with a Ubiquiti Unify router. That video is also on the upper right corner. So for that video, we are done. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any question, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe and what you do see back there is from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.